Hi everyone, welcome to Bat Briscoe's DIY Center. We are going to be upgrading a SSD drive today. And our star of the show is going to be this Dell Microform Factor Optiplex 7080. Again, it's a Microform Factor, so it's a very small computer with a small footprint. Uh, we're going to be upgrading the 256 gig uh, SSD that's in it now. You're going to need a couple things for this upgrade. Uh, in particular, you're going to need this external SSD drive that plugs into any USB or USB-C port. It opens up and you can slide the existing or new drive in here and it will plug back into your desktop computer and you can back it up with any favorite cloning software or in this video I'm going to be showing you a software called Macrium Reflect. Secondly, you'll need a new drive. In this case, I bought a one terabyte Kingston drive that will certainly be enough space for what I am using it for. These drives are kind of cheap. Uh, they're not the fastest drives. Samsung's are certainly better, but this will definitely suit my needs. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open up this case. Very simply, this case is really nice. They have a little screw on the back. You literally just unscrew this. You can do it with your hands or a screwdriver. Loosen that up like that. You should feel it. It won't come out. It just stays right there. And all you have to do is slide the front of this case, or sorry, the back of this case off. And you just give it a little shake. And you can see right there, it just comes forward. Uh, it doesn't come off like that. It literally lifts off. So there's actually these little latches here and there's uh, the lid goes on and then slides back. So it'll slide forward and up and then you can just kind of loosen it, but inside you can actually see it's got little tabs there. And those are what uh, hook into here. That's what you're seeing here as that comes off. And the inside of this is pretty basic. Um, this is for a full SSD drive, a two and a half inch. We're gonna go ahead and pinch these two clips here, push it forward, and it should lift right out. They make these pretty modular. So you can do that. And then inside you'll see this is where a traditional SSD would go. And right here you'll see this is the network adapter. Right here is where our new SSD is going to go. I'm sorry. Right here is where our new SSD is going to go. So right here is our old SSD. This is a very tiny drive. Let's see if you can see that, but that should be about a 256 gig drive. You can see that at the top right. Um, we're literally just going to unscrew this. We're going to put the new one in here. It's going to fit right perfectly up to this hole, and then we're going to put the screw back into here. So let's get started. So we're going to remove the old drive now. You might need a smaller screwdriver to get this screw out and it may stick a little because it's been there in there for a while but literally just pulling that out comes right out and the old drive will lift once it lifts you just pull it straight out comes right out once you have the old drive out you need to place it in your external case i don't know if you buy this model i'll leave a link to the one i bought but there's various, various ones of these, but they all work the same way. So what it is, is you just literally stick it in here, just like you would on the board in the computer, and you have to uh, secure it. It comes with these two rubber kind of grommets. You can pull these out, pop these back into here, and literally hold it in place with just a little push just like that. And it'll hold in place. Now we can slide the casing back on, or we don't have to, we can plug this directly in. And then we plug, oops, sorry, this back into the back. And now I'm gonna plug this into my main desktop system so that I can back up this drive with the Macrim software. This one actually comes with a nice little adapter so you can use USB uh, 3.1, or sorry, USB-C or the traditional USB uh, on your computer. 
This is Macarim Reflect. It's a free download and I'll leave it the link in the video. But we've installed the new drive, so here we go. You can see it here under the 238.47 gigabyte drive. Um, this is the drive that I have plugged into it, into this machine right here. So all we're going to do, we're not going to clone this disk. I like to image the disk because I keep a backup on my personal drives. Um, and then I think it's faster to restore it then to uh, your your destination drive. In our case, uh, the new one terabyte drive that I mentioned earlier that I showed you, the Kingston. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and choose a folder that I want to save the backup in. I have a C backups folder. And it'll call it image ID whatnot. If you want to give it a name, you can. So I'm going to call it Dell 7080 backup and it should automatically put a date on that for me. I'm going to hit next. Um, I'm going to do a full backup. Uh, these options are for if you are doing multiple backups for the same drive you know at different times. This can actually back up your current drive um, if you want to back it up to a external location. Uh, but we don't need any of these options. We're just going to do a one-time deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit next and it's going to tell me that here's all the rules we just set up um, here's the partitions that it's going to clone or image and then I'm just going to go ahead and hit finish um, I don't need to save as a backup definition file because this is a one-time thing I'm only going to run this backup now and I hit OK and then this is going to go through the process of backing up the drive and this can take anywhere from I don't know five minutes to I would guess 30 minutes depending on the size of your drives. Um, this is actually telling you the overall progress. I don't know if this is accurate or not, uh, but we'll go ahead and fast forward. Just okay, our <coughs> backup here is done. You get a little prompt here. It says image completed successfully. It took us three, three minutes and 30 seconds. Not bad for a 256 gig drive. We're going to hit OK here, close, and what you'll see now is in my C backups where I put it. Um, I now have a Dell 7080 backup here. Um, showing 720.24. So this is the one we just made. Now we're going to take this drive or take this image and we're going to um, clone it onto the new one terabyte drive. So in order to do this, it's going to be the reverse process. We're going to plug the drive into the external SSD case plug it back in the computer, rerun MacRAM. I'm going to close this right now. So again, now we're going to take the new drive, put it in the external enclosure, and we're going to secure it with these little rubber grommets. These things come out. All you do is they work in the tabs. So we're going to put it here and literally push it into the hole. It should secure nicely like that. And now we're going to plug it back in the computer. So now we have the drive plugged back in, or the new drive, I should say. And now we're going to hit refresh here. Uh, it's still showing the old drive, but if I just hit refresh, we should now have the one terabyte drive. I actually, we're going to go to existing backups. We're going to do a browse for image file, or it'll be in our last ones here. I'm just going to double click it and I'm going to hit restore. Now I hit restore. It's going to automatically show me which, or it's going to ask me which disk I want to restore it to. So I'm going to hit this button and I should see my one terabyte empty drive here. I've chosen that one so it's plugged into here. Now it's going to create the exact same partitions so something you do have to do is extend your partition so it uses up all the free space. If you don't, it yeah. will... So on this one, it has a partition of 237.63 gigs. Because this is a clone software, it will create exact partitions just like this. We're going to copy partitions, um, and we're going to shrink or extend to fill the target disk. Uh, this is very important because if you don't do this, again, it will have a small partition and you'll have all this empty free space that you're not using. So we're going to do shrink or extend to fill the target disk and sure enough, it automatically extends that. 
uh, you can see this is 930.67 gigabytes versus the 237.63. So it's filling the drive. And we are set to go. I'm going to go ahead and next. And go ahead and hit finish. And it's going to go through the same kind of process, but it's actually restoring it now to the new drive. Once this is done, then I can plug this back into the Dell 7080. And it's as if it came with the system then, because it's an exact replica. So we'll let this go, and we'll see that next. Okay, so our restoration is complete here. You can see this restore completed in 2 minutes and 35 seconds. It's actually faster to write it than it was to read it. This is great. So now we hit OK, we hit Close. Now we're going to remove the drive and put it back into the new computer. You're going to have to take this piece off to reposition the screw over here. And very simply, we're just going to take this guy perfectly on our board. And I'm literally just putting it right in this position now. That should screw it in. Now this will support the new size drive. And here's the slot. This is an NVMe slot. You're just going to slide it in. It's going to stay like that. And all you're going to do is literally screw this back in. We're going to take our screw here. We're going to try to seat it in place. Um, you can hold down the drive while you do this. It's not going to hurt it. But you basically want to line it up correctly. And then put your, your screw in here. Maybe give it a few turns so it just sticks there. So you can grab your screwdriver and then screw it in all the way. And this just secures the drive in place. Very lightly. You don't have to over screw it. And now it is. Now it's sitting there. It's nicely seated. You should see no gold uh, connectors here. It's seated all the way in. Then we're going to go ahead and put our, our little SSD holder back in and just slide that back. Now that's in too. And then we're going to resecure the cover. The cover again will be offset a little bit. And if you just kind of wiggle it on here, it should close just like that on both sides. And now you're ready to just slide it back. Super easy, and then you can secure it with again with this screw. And now our case is complete. That was how to upgrade the Dell Optiplex 780. Micro form factor. We now have a one terabyte drive in here. We're gonna go ahead and boot it up and get it configured. Thanks for watching.